This video is going to explain how to find and use sources to support your solutions. Here is my site. My problem is urban flood management in Istanbul. I've written one sentence to explain uh, the purpose of the site. I've added my project group and we even put in a little picture. This is my problem page and I've written one paragraph explaining the problem. Uh, you will notice I've added two in-text citations here and here. These were from articles that I read that supported my ideas of how to understand the problem. So the first idea that I had to uh, address this problem was I thought the city, the urban planners of Istanbul should start putting more vegetation, plants, grass, things like this with open soil instead of concrete that could absorb water when there were floods. So I need to find a source uh, to support this idea. So let me put in, we'll start with this, prevent urban flooding. And let's see what we get. 10 measures to prevent urban flooding. Waven.com. I don't know what that is, but let's let's have a look. Here's the article. 10 measures to prevent flooding. Spun city. This seems bigger than just dealing with sidewalks, not rooftop gardens. No. I might ah permeable pavement that isn't that must be what they call this um, sidewalks and gardens well that's a great picture I think I'll definitely use the photograph there isn't very very much text really about this they say the problem is also known as infiltration so maybe I'll do another search infiltration no I don't need a definition I know what we're talking about let's see if I can no I don't want a hotel Stormwater infiltration. Okay, let's have a look at this. Ah, infiltration planters. That is exactly what I was thinking about. This comes from, who's published this? Uh, the city of Portland. So I think that that's, and they have lots of photos, so they've obviously been using it using this approach. So I think that's a really good source to use. I'm going to go to my solutions page. Here we are. I, instead of putting vegetation sidewalks, I call this permeable sidewalks since I know the term. I've taken, found two photos to put in, and then I've written a little description of what these are about. And I'm going to put the sources in my bibliography. So here's my City of Portland source. And I also put the Waven source in. It turns out they're from a branch of Mexichem and they do a lot of uh, things to support urban planners so I think that's okay and I took their photo so I have to put it in my bibliography. Now my partner had another idea 
of how to approach the problem. And his idea was that we should somehow keep the water that's landing on the roofs from in these flash floods from also pouring into the street because that could keep a lot of water off the sidewalks and streets. So let's do another search. Maybe if I just put rain barrel, rain barrels to get some general information. Huh, it looks a little bit the same. So I don't want to take something from someone who's going to sell me something. Oh, here we have something from the government of Massachusetts, water conservation and rain barrels. Let's see what that looks like. Great way to conserve water and reduce storm water runoff. So that looks perfect for my partner's idea. And it explains where they are, what they are, how to install them, where you could buy them. Probably check that out for photos. And other ways to conserve water. So that looks like a good support for my solution. Let's go to back to my website and we'll go to solutions and solution number two rain barrels and I he could put in two photos where you can see the storm water running right into the rain barrels here I bet you could even put like a little plant thing on top of it to make the streets greener. And he's written a paragraph explaining this. We look at the bibliography. And we've put his source in the bibliography. So that is how you can search for and find sources to support your ideas about how to respond to the problem that your project is addressing.